the farm. I'm Christy. I'm me. He's him. We look like horrible. He's eating pizza. Drinking Kool-Aid. I've got green tea. Alright, so in the chapel, Matthew 5 4. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Yep. Right? Yep. That's our Bible verse for today. And you'll find out why. Neither one of us want to tell you, but you'll find out why. Alright. In the barn stalls. Technically, it's your segment, so. Alright. What's been going on in the barn stalls? Um. It's more rain right now. Yeah, that's not going on in the barn stalls. It's about the animals. So. We got a few more cattle in, right? We yep. haven't podcasted in about two weeks. Things have gone kind of crazy. You've been rodeoing, so it just. We. I was in another house dog sitting, just everything has gone crazy. And we simply could not get in the same spot at the same time to podcast, correct? Right. Yeah, so, let's see. Uh, and I didn't have a computer where I was, so it didn't do any good for me. Um, how's the outside source come on? It's doing good. Okay. They came up and they tried him a couple of times, right? Yeah. I think I got home like 26. Oh, yeah, 26. 26. So he's almost ready to go home now, isn't he? Yeah, he just good. needs more runs on him. Yep. That's it. Yeah, so see what he else needs to be got. seasoned, and that can be done by anybody, not just us. So, um, all right, come on. Uh, we uh, lost the day last week, so we're not sure what happened. By lost, you mean? She passed away. Who is today? She was the ride with Cal. We've so. had her since you were. How old? I've got pictures of you being little, laying on the ground like this, with her, and with a red bow on her, correct? She's only been 10 years old, probably close to 12 or 13, maybe. Yeah. And, uh, she probably would have kept out in another couple months. So we lost the baby, we lost her. Was not a good thing. Yeah. So, um your dad was actually standing at the vet, correct? Yeah. Trying to get medication and, and figure out what's what was going on. Yeah. Been rough. Yeah. So for those of you who don't compare it to anything, think about losing your best dog. Or your best cat. Um, she drank from a bottle. We hand raised her. She was she had an umbilical cord when she moved here, correct? Yeah. She had no no other place but here most of her life, with the exception of her first few days of life. Yeah. Right. Quit messing with your alley. Uh, it was and still is a hard blow to take. Some. Some you get past faster than others, right? Yep. Not this one. Alright, anything else in the barn stuff? No, that's it. Ducks, right? Okay. The geese were chasing the ducks the other night to the tune of getting the sheep all stirred up, weren't they? Mm -hmm. Um. Other than that, there's really not a whole lot going on. It's hot. Um, the temperature was really hard, you know, on them. They drank lots of water. Yeah, they did. It took, what did you say, a half hour to fill everything out there? So, we are hopefully in the next couple of months going to put in two more water spigots out there, correct? Yep. So that it can be easier to do. Yep. All right. It's big and pitches. Mm hmm. So I'll get to digging some ditches. Hopefully right after it rains. Because it'd be easy digging. Um, I'm going to rinse from all ditch ditches. Ditch witches. Um, so, alright, on track. Mending fences. Stepping up. We are looking at October is coming up. And what do we do in October? Repairs around here. You know, we close for the month. Um, 
We're looking at putting in two more water spigots, finishing the horse run, building the round pen, and building, rebuilding the shed storm to out over here, and then all of our normal maintenance maintaining, correct? Right. All right, let's slow that down, slow that roll down a little bit. Um, putting in the two water spigots, one at the new horse runs, right? And one in between those other two pins, correct? Right. Moose, enough. He's in his pen and it's storming and they just, uh, Sleep it off, old feller. That's what everybody else does. Um, so we actually have some water piped out there, but you have to hook a garden hose to it. It, it just isn't, I'm sorry, the bugs are coming. Um, it's not really it's good. I am. Yeah. Uh, it's not really a good thing. I'm bugging you now. So, now you're bugging me, yeah. You better stop or I'll we'll explain why we haven't done that Q&A yet. Um, so we're going to replace the pipe that's there with an actual spigot. Um, it takes some adjusting because we're going to tie it in and we're no longer going to use a garden hose from one spigot to a hose to get it to the other spigot. They're all going to be on their own handle, their own spigots, and there'll be about three of them out there all along the fence and they, we should be able to get water to either side. Right? Right. So, um, it might be me moving a couple of uh, water troughs closer to the spigot, but everything will be reachable. No! <laughs> There's only one pin like far out, and we have to just do a garden hose to it. That and the cattle one, huh? Yep. So, we're going to do that. Um, honestly, the cost in that is just the PVC pipe, right? Yep. And the spigot. So, we're hoping about $400 and, and it'd be done. And done. Little yipper yapper. We want to finish the. We want to put my fuel fire. Quit it. You should have held your finger a little while. No. Um. The horse. Finish the horse runs. Um. We got to get out there and a couple of horses have fussed and busted some boards. So we're going to replace those and get it finished. I'm tired of it. I want it done. That way we'll have four horse runs out there and. Then we're going to put the round pin. That's old. I don't have a truck anymore. Please don't be putting that information on camera. It's a VIN number. It's gone anyways. No. They can try and use it. If we have criminals that watch us, hopefully we don't have any criminals. <laughs> it just, it said not to put, not to flash like that. That's my registration. Re-register the gold truck. Now the is gone. Uh, okay, so the round pin. We're hoping to get it done. Is that a train? I don't know what that is. A tornado. Nader's coming. Nader's folks. coming. Just a little thing there. Uh, Luxembourg in Germany was hit by a tornado the other day. Just saying. Um, tornadoes are not prevalent in, in Germany. So, anyway. Um, so we're going to finish the runs and hopefully put in a round pin, and that's going to be where we can um, do the horses. Now none of this stuff is done. This is all in the works in the next couple of months, correct? It has to be done by the end of October when winter comes. Uh, you did get the light fixed outside, didn't you? Oh yeah, I did. Well, look at that. How did you do that? Holy cow, it is nice. How did you get it fixed? Have me a long rope. No, and I shook out a loop. No, I went up there. And I lashed to the top of that pool. And I just <laughs> climbed right up there. <laughs> the big old light bulb. Unscrewed it. Screwed and it went in. And then fell off Climbed the pool. Climbed right back down that hole. <laughs> you did not. And then I realized I left the lasso up there. So I climbed up there again, and I took my lasso off, and I just went, I believe I'm flying, and just flew <laughs> right off there. You did not. No, I just picked up the phone, <laughs> and I called the electric company and said, guys, I'm scared of the dark. It's my light when I hope to help me. <laughs> they sent a man to check. They sent a big guy with the truck. 
Yeah, because it's up on the electrical pole. Mm -hmm. It's our only security light outside. So. And he got in his little truck and he poked his little butt and, and he went there. up there and he fixed it and then he came back down. <laughs> Your story was so much more uh, entertaining. So, all right. Uh, anything else going on that we're going to... I mean, we're working on our list. It's August. It's hot outside. I think the heat index today was 111. 15. So, 115. So, yeah. It's taken its toll on a lot of things. How bad's the storm? I don't know. <laughs> Moose, that's enough. Uh, Alright. In the yarn farm. We've had a couple of visits, but honestly, we had some campers, right? And it's just been so hot, nobody's coming. Which is fine. We understand that. Some years are like that. Some days are like that. Some weeks are like that. It is what it is, right? Um, but you have had a few visits, right? Storms Nothing like it has been, you know, last year, but it's okay. Folks. Okay. I know. It's coming. It's uh, all right. Anything else in the yard farm? Um, there was a couple things. What? I don't know. I just made them up. You just made them up. <laughs> okay. I told them it's raining. In the fields, I haven't been able to get down in. Uh, the lawnmower is going in for repairs. And I've decided we're just going to buy a new push mower. I found one that I like. I'm going to go and check it out. Uh, I'm getting a self-propelled. It's called a three-in-one. They're just a couple hundred dollars. But I'm tired of having to fight. And the ones that we have, we've had for how long? How many years? Let's see. Show them. There it is. Yep. That one big red dot above. Not the little, little red dot above. Where's that one? Up. Right there. Yep. Um, so, anyway, I'm just giving in, and, and the big one is going to be repaired, and I'm just going to buy a new push mower. We have to have <coughs> both. So, and I think I have to buy no a new No way I'm going the yard if we have to walk all that. No, we do riding mower for most of it, and then we push mower around some of the trees and stuff, especially in the garden. So, um, anyway, we're just, I'm done with the lawnmowers for this year. Our yard looks like, um, and I am. You need to just take down the fences, but the animals loose. No, we're not letting the animals loose. The only thing that we don't have fence for the animals is around our driveway. That's it, and what's by the road. We don't have a lot that we mow. We don't want a front gate. We have to open the gate every time we have to drive in the driveway. Yeah, so um, I just don't have the driveway fence because I don't want, like you said, we don't want to open a gate to go through the driveway, correct? So, and then and the garden is the only other thing we do. Oh, and the... Um, inevitably. Was that a bug that was dropped on my computer? It was a lightning. Oh. Um, and inevitably, I would hit the fence with the trailer. Inevitably. Yeah. Um, and the campsite is the other thing that I like to mow. And I only mow it a couple of times Moose. a year. You're yeah. not dying, dude. Just go to sleep. Will you go get another blanket in front of there so that he can get under the blanket and not have to see it? Please. Um, anyway, so there's nothing in the fields. We're getting ready to start hang season. But we're also looking to purchase a, a tractor. Um, the old tractor that belonged to Lee's dad is dead. Um, we hope to get it repaired, and I'm just, it's time to buy a new one. We've had the same tractor since we moved out here, Ooh. and he was six years old. He, we moved in here the 1st of October. 15 years. And he was, he had his sixth birthday party, and we had to go to Pizza Hut because my house had boxes everywhere. And he's like, what about my birthday? I said, you can have a pizza party. And that's what we did. <laughs> so we went to the local Pizza Hut, and that's why we know exactly. Actually, had, when we were in Noah all the time, we always had uh, people come to the house. We yeah, we town. had, we were right there in town. I had a deck out the back. It had a bench yeah. built around it. We'd grill, and we had a little pool out there. He had a sand. I mean, nice we house. had, yeah, it was amazing. And then we moved out here, which we got a smaller house and stuff, but more land. And, um, he's a 
upset because he couldn't have his friends over. So I took all his friends to Pizza Hut, which is something we would never have done in town. No, so. we'd have everybody at the house. Woo! There went the electric. <laughs> we just lost it's on, our video, no, but it's, it had it's a on battery. battery. It's on battery. Ooh, it's on goodness. battery. Um, but no lights, they couldn't see us. That's why it went black. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we lost it. It's gone. Uh, okay, we better hurry it up because the storm is here. Okay, so that's in the garden, or in the field. We're getting ready for hang season, going to get a tractor. I, we're working on getting the tractor. Mm -hmm. um, in the, we're just going to skip right into the farmhouse. Uh, what's been keeping us from podcasting? Uh, last, yeah. last week, I was at, we, we are, we're just busy. I, I, of course, I'm still working off the farm. He's working off the farm and on farm because when people come, you go. We go turn that We're gonna burn up. Uh, they call to check in, and he's never far away, so he's like, "I'll be there in two minutes." And he just comes down from wherever he's working. He works for Eddie or Justin or Rich or you know. Um, I don't even know if he told you about the cattle drive we did. Um, there was one morning we just were out here. Did we talk about that last time? No, probably not. Probably not. I never talk about what I do during the week. Well, but this was rich, and we were here for to move the cattle. I don't know. I don't know if we told y'all about that or not. But um, we helped a neighbor move his cattle down the road. Uh, RJ, of course, does that for everybody around here. He'll go and doctor things or whatever. Um, I've been house sitting. I've been working out a lot. Huh? And dog sitting. And dog sitting. Yeah, a dog sat. Four dogs. And a house. And a house. Four dogs and a house plus my job. So and plus the, I fed you every night. It's just. You only fed me like three nights. I was gone the other day. Yeah, and then RJ left last week at, on Thursday and didn't get home until sa Sunday, and that's like the second week you've done that, right? Mm -hmm. So he's been pretty much going pretty steady rodeoing. So um, we're getting lists. The house looks like actually it's just the bar and the table. We've got the mail and the well, bills. Well, we keep walking around the house and we just pitch stuff on it. We just side. walk in and do it, and then I'm out the door and I'm either between the house I'm I'm watching, or um, and that job now has ended. So today is what my second day. I got back yesterday. You were home when I got home yesterday last night. Yeah. So, um, that job is ended. I'm back home now, but I still have my job off the farm, right? Uh, and then you, of course, have your jobs, and then he's been leaving Thursday and going rodeo. So, he works Monday, <laughs> Tuesday, Wednesday, and then, um, uh-oh, we're freezing up. It better not be freezing up. <laughs> Storm. Our picture. The camera is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> the picture froze. <laughs> that was funny. How are you froze? Are you had a bug go like this. Stop. He had a bug go up his nose earlier. Moose, go under your blankie. We'll stick you out in the storm. No, we won't. He yes, we will. barks every time it thunders. And he just doesn't like it. I don't know why. So. You're not going to you forever. Right. Anyway, anything else going on? Really? Not really. We're glad to be back. We're going to try and start getting back on schedule. It's been a couple weeks since we've been on schedule. Yeah, I should be homish. We're going to be homish. Even if we don't podcast on the weekend, we will try like Monday night um, or Tuesday night. Our next one, I know I said this last time, we're going to do a question, a Q&A, question and answer for RJ. Um, we're not going to do it live, but it'll be our same format. Submit our kinda questions. Assume, yeah, submit your questions and let us know what you want. And if they're really, want. really ridiculous, though, I, I it, obtain the right no. to refuse to answer. No, he does not. He Just will answer you. anything. Just like you. Anything. No, I will not. Yes, no, he will. Not anything. Yes, he will. Anything. No. Yes. No. Remember transparency. We are very transparent with them. We are real people. This cup's transparent. It still holds water. Mm. I did have my little date with Henry. Mm -hmm. uh, a friend of ours was gone, and 
she was in Texas training and his and dad had a business meeting so I got to take my little five-year-old buddy to the kitty park I've and never been for and it was fun he loved it we had a couple of little issues as in he'd get super excited and go mom I mean miss <laughs> and so by the end of the night he's calling me miss mommy and he got home and mom was back from a trip she was scheduled to get back dad had to leave for his meeting at 5 30 and she didn't get back home until 8 like when her flight got in at like 6 30 and then she could be by 8 but he had to leave at 5 30 to make this meeting and uh, it was funny because they called me and I said oh I'll just take him with me and we'll go do something it's right before school we'll have a date we took it to what's called hideaway pizza they give you these cool little cups and so this is my hideaway pizza cup and uh, we kind of made it a date and that's what him and I call it is we have our dates and we went to hideaway pizza which we do pizza every day that's all that kid eats with me is pizza so um, took him to hideaway pizza and then we went to the kitty park and some of the rides he can't do by himself and he just doesn't want to so I rode a little kitty roller coaster but the most fun was this okay so remember when I say kitty park there it is. it's four little kids okay he's five and there's this one that goes around like this and it's these round discs and inertia is what makes a disc spin they're not on a thing they just spin and then it it just goes like this so his dad won't go on them because it makes him sick his mom doesn't go on that one with him so he not really gotten to do that one he really wanted to I used to do this one with RJ all the time yeah, and I so like the, that ride. That's it fun. doesn't take you up off the ground or anything it just goes no, in a circle and and then it, on one of them. yeah and then it goes like this so, um, and this one's geared towards little kids. Well, the problem is, is I outweigh Henry by quite a bit. And I get in this little cup and you have to pull the round thing to make it spin. You know, it's a little handle inside. You're supposed to. Well, he was sitting and there's these little bars that come up and he hit, hit his head. So I had his head, I'm literally turning this thing. I've got this hand over here and I've got his head sucked up against mine. And he is laughing. And laughing and the kids running the, the thing couldn't figure out if he was crying or laughing and so they'd slow down and I was like do I need to stop no no go faster go faster by the end of the ride he had his head in my lap just laughing I had my arm over him and then I was spinning it and when the ride stopped they couldn't get our cut to quit the spin. <laughs> so the big guy come over the guy that actually there's two grown men that run it and two grown ladies are in the ticket booth and the grown men run the floor and then they hire all these kids like teenagers to run these kitty things it's only open from seven to nine every night and that's it and they're only open during the summer so uh anyway they had to come over and this big guy he goes please hold on to him and i said i got gotcha. you <laughs> because he just couldn't get it if we didn't stop if they um, hadn't gotten us to be able to stop, they couldn't get us out, and it was holding up the whole ride. And ours was just sitting there spinning. And I didn't know how to get it to stop. I knew how to start it, you know, and we had been going, like, and inertia was just carrying it. And this big old guy comes over, and he says, just hold on to him. And so I had Henry with his head in my lap, and I had my arm over him, and he's on a little bench thing. He's not going anywhere. And I reached down and, and put my other arm across him, and this guy reaches up and he's got this huge arm and he goes wham and he grabs one of those things and pulls it to a stop it was hilarious and henry's like can we do it again and the guy looks at me and he goes please don't <laughs> he can only stop at one he said it just we got off and he goes it doesn't happen very often he said that people get going that fast he said it doesn't hurt anything he says but he can't he can't always stop them like that and he says i have to sit and wait for you to slow down and you'll hold things up can we not and I said no we're not gonna do it again I said Henry's a little dizzy right now and he goes oh thank goodness about that time his mom texted and said I'm home so when you guys are ready to come home we went and rode the train one more time ate a snow cone and left 
so but it, he had so much fun and I have not seen him laugh that hard I don't think in my life that kid was losing it um, as a matter of fact when he got off the ride he had to go potty <laughs> so, and he just had a blast but that, and I think it was because he had not been ever on that cup one before so um, but he had fun anyway uh, anything else that we've done? No. Pretty much babysitting, house sitting, taking care of it, just getting through the summer, really. Right? Yep. Everybody's trying to get their stuff done, trying to go back to school. Yep, right now everybody's trying to get stuff done for back to school, and we got to get into haying season. And in order to do that, we've got to get the equipment up and running and all that stuff. I still haven't made the video for the guy who wanted to see the hay monster and, and break it down. It's just been too hot, and to go out there and handle metal in 150 degree, in 115 degree weather, it's not going to happen. Um, it's that's metal. There was a post on Facebook showing the hot surfaces of a playground, and a slide is 140 degrees, and a uh, swing is 120. The ground itself feels like 170, I think, and then there was a bridge or something that was 150. I'm not touching metal in 111 degree weathers. Oklahoma it's sunshine and down. Yeah, that's hot. And they no, said I not to. The no, they said not to. They said stay inside. So anyway, we're dealing with the heat, doing the best we can. Right? Well, um, it's snow next week. Uh, I'm just saying, it gets hot for as a week. We get, and then it just. Yeah. Mm, as rain. we get some of the little projects done we will take the camera out and actually film what we're getting done and get back to being us okay please forget to send your question yeah don't forget no it's please forget no don't forget please i'm gonna actually put on the facebook thing that we're gonna do a question and answer so everybody can just put their questions on facebook right you can ask anything from horse training to cattle to what's his favorite color? Life, charms. So, you name it, we'll do it. Sorry, there's a lady checking in. Okay, so our sh we sold some of our sheep to a young man for his first time 4-H, and he shows on Wednesday at 9 a.m. So, uh, they had some trouble. We couldn't make them understand they needed to come get their sheep. And they kept saying, well, let them stay with mom a little longer. Let them stay with mom. Well, it needed to go and get on full feed. And so, we were scared he wasn't going to make weight. But he apparently did because he's showing. Correct? Yep. So, well, I anyway. Well, I these glasses. It is mine. Yep. Those are one of my old pairs, huh? Before I got my decent ones. Those are my other ones. Those are the ones I actually like. Those, uh, I didn't. They, they were just kind of... They kinda, sound better, right? Eh? They actually don't. I don't like I like that too. They're okay, but, yeah. I still... And this is the one I always wore. I still don't like these. They look... <laughs> I look better than them. See? I look good. See, yeah. But then again, I look good in anything. These are not. You look like bug eyes. These are not the the ones that I have. Mm -hmm. Go up there and get my actual ones that are on the. the well, we can talk about the sunglasses table. anytime. Oh, you you want to see our sunglasses? All right, question. Ask it in a question. Yeah. I still look cool on these right here. Question and answer next week. Put it on Facebook. Email us at rj at barnontheweb dot com. No, no, no. Farm it's on the prairie dot no, com. R J S F. No, it's not. Well, well, we got some real emails, so I don't get all the questions. I don't have to answer them. No, more. it's rj at barnonweb.com, or it's all in the contact thing below. You can find us anywhere, ask some questions about anything. So if you do horse training, if you do cattle, um, if you do sheep, goats, pigs, whatever, um, how we handle medical stuff, how we handle Why are we wearing sunglasses inside of the lights? I have no <laughs> <laughs> we're being cool. Um, why we're wearing sunglasses. There you go. Uh, his favorite now colors, his favorite food, his favorite whatever. 
<laughs> Alright, and I'll go this way. If you guys want to ask me anything, I guess you can too. There we go. Now that's a good one. Alright, now, now, now. Yeah, because I've never done a question and answer, have I? Nope. Yeah. You can ask her who does her nails. You can ask her who does her hair. But don't ask me who does my hair. You can. You can. You can ask her anything. You can. You can ask me about my titles. You can ask me what I do for a living. You can ask me how I put up with RJ. Don't um, ask that question. That's a dirty question. You can ask the story of his birth. Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> and I will go into detail. Yeah, you can. You can you ask can about RJ's health issues. Um, I don't know. We've got a lot of new viewers. RJ is blind in one eye. He still ropes for a living. And he also has lung damage. So we can go into that if you like. Um, yeah, just whatever. Um, look around the blogs. We haven't done a blog in a long time. But the old one's still up there from when he was in school. And we're leaving it there for a while. Um, if we decide to go back to it, we will. But right now we're just, we're busy. So it's hard. Um, but yeah, favorite foods, what we feed. If you want to know anything about how we take care of the animals, the feed that we use, the anything, really. The chickens, the geese, ducks. Just ask. RJ can tell you, show you how to hypnotize a chicken. If somebody asks him how to do that, I'm going to have him bring a chicken in his house and make him hypnotize him. Can't do it in the house. Shut up. I'll make you do it on outside on film, on camera. Mm -hmm. Well, good night, folks. Alright, yes, we are. We're going to get this uploaded and I will talk to y'all later. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye to them. Bye-bye them. <laughs> have a good one and we will see you next time post your questions anywhere you want and we will make sure to get them included including Facebook and 